the top of the table clash. Top versus second. Yes, so Sunderland welcome Charlton Athletic to the Stadium of Light on Saturday at 3 p.m. kickoff. I said it was a top of the table clash. Well, it would have been if my predictions were correct. And my beginning of the season predictions kind of video when I said that Sunderland, yes, Sunderland would finish first and Charlton would finish second. On the good stuff today, just the very light, nice and fruity. I don't know what it is. Mango, fruit, pineapple, all sorts of juices in here. Let's have a taste. Oh, God, that's a bit hideous. <laughs> that's not my choice. It was in the fridge. Anyway, so Sunderland take on Charlton. Yes, Charlton Athletic. Charlton Athletic, to be fair, they're in seventh place. They're not a bad side. They're doing quite well in the table at this moment in time. In seventh place. Last few games. The last seven? It's about seven games. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven games unbeaten in League One. Now, they played Charlton. Charlton played Charlton. No, they didn't. Doncaster played Charlton. It was Doncaster at home against Charlton. Charlton won one nil. Then Charlton drew two as a peach, but probably the worst result out of the seven games. Two as a peach against Wimbledon. And then after that, they beat Bristol Rovers three and two. Before that, they drew one to peach with Shrewsbury. Before that, they won two one against. I was going to say Charlton again, but Northampton. And the time before that, they drew nils a peach against Oxford. And the time before that. The time before land even existed. The drew, no, the one, the beat Wigan 1 0. Yes, the beat Wigan 1 0. Now, the last seven games, we're going to delve in a little bit. And, and, and Sunderland do like that, like possession play, don't they? Lee Johnson and the Sunderland side do like a bit of possession play. Now, Doncaster against Charlton, they had the dominate of the match. Charlton only had 38% possession against Doncaster. Now, against FCA Wimbledon, AFC Wimbledon, shall I say, they had 53% possession. That's the only time in the last seven games Charlton have had the most percentage of possession. That's the last time. You know, normally they don't have much possession because the game before that against Bristol Rovers when they won 3 2, they only had 41% possession. 41%. The game before that against Shrewsbury when they drew one to pitch, that 39% possession. The game before that, 44% possession. The game before that, 43% possession. The game before that, 46% possession. So they're not possession. They're not a percentage possession based club who like to hold the ball. So Sunderland do like to have possession. So Sunderland may have a lot more possession against Charlton than they do against other clubs. So on that kind of, you know, you kind of take them lightly. The last time Charlton lost was against Blackpool back on the 27th of February, 3-0 with Blackpool are in absolutely awesome form in the top six, just in front of Charlton. So yes, Charlton are in good form. We, we drew with Charlton, Nils a peach, I think it was, way back in the in the good old days of Phil Parkinson. Was it good old days? Way back in the bad old days of Phil Parkinson, we drew with Charlton and we should have really won that game. So Charlton, yes, Sunderland are slightly odds on favourites for the match, 4 to 5 on, where Charlton are 16 to 5 over 3 to 1. So, anybody out there who actually thinks Sunderland will beat Charlton, you can slap £5 on, you get £9 back. If you fancy Charlton to win, you put a 5 on, you get 16 plus your £5, which is 21. Mathematics has been my strong suit throughout the years. But on the table at this moment in time, Hull have played 40 on 76 points. Peterborough played 39 on 73 points. Sunderland 38 on 71 points. Portsmouth 38, 64 points. Seven behind Sunderland, a good gap. Blackpool are in fifth place, not sixth. And they've played 37 with a game less than Sunderland, 63 points. So Blackpool are only eight points behind Sunderland. And they do have two games in hand. Now, Lincoln are in sixth place, 37 games, 62 points. And Charlton, like I said, are in seventh place. They are, you know, a good, good 12 points 
behind Sunderland on level games. Now Charlton played the 4-3-3 system, Sunderland play whatever Lee Johnson wants them to play and they've been doing pretty well Sunderland. You know they're getting good four points in the last two games against two difficult sides, Oxford and Peterborough and to be fair, you know, towards the end of the Peterborough match we could have went on and sneaked an extra two points and got six out of six, but we got four. And I said, if we got four, it puts us in a good, you know, end of the day, it's up to Sunderland now. Up to Sunderland now. We have eight games to go and then the season's complete. Eight games to go. You win your eight games, for me, you win the table. You get promoted as champions. Simple as. It's in your own hands, in our own hands. But at the start of the season, I didn't predict Sunderland to win the league. I did predict Charlton to come second. So in my eyes, this is the top of the table clash because Charlton are dark horses. Dark horses, not dark horses. Dark horses. Now I want to give a shout out to a lad who watches me videos, me videos, me vlogs, whatever you want to say. Who's put some vodka in this? Nobody, hopefully. I can't even, I can't even drink it. That's hideous. Ugh. Is it off? It might be off that. Anyway, yes, Chris, the support worker in Kerry, shout out to you. Thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for watching all me streams and this, that, and you. I will be doing me live stream at the weekend. Obviously against Charlton. Now, score predictions. Ooh, score predictions. I do think Sunderland are starting to come now to the own a little bit. I am going to go for the Sunderland. Ooh. Well, Charlton are in good form, but don't like possession, so I think Sunderland might actually... You know what? I'll tell you what it is, right? So does. I'm going to go Sunderland. <laughs> two. Charlton nil. Sunderland two. Charlton nil. I'm going to say Denver Hume will be starting on Saturday. Is my prediction. But is it too soon for Denver? Would you start Denver? Or would you keep Denver on the bench for the time being? Denver Hume, for me, is a lot better player than Matt Fadzine. So I think if he's fit enough, you start the lad, simple as. And I would go 4-3-3. I don't think I would start Ross with White this time. I'd bring Aidan O'Brien back into the fold and start him with, with, yeah, with, with Charlie White. And I'd go 4-3-3. And, well, if I went 4-3-3, would I put Jones and McGeady on the flanks? And would I have Charlie White up front? And then we'll have the three midfielders, led a bit of Scowan and, and Winchester. So probably if I go 4-3-3, that's what I have to do. I have to probably leave, leave, leave Aidan O'Brien on the bench, to be fair, which is a bit harsh on the lad. But yeah, so for me, I'd go 4-3-3. Score prediction 2-0. What's your score prediction? Do you have the greatest sports noggin to get the score prediction? And what's your thoughts on the quality of this video? Is it better footage? I will do. People score predictions correct. Of course, this is my new vlogging camera. My new vlogging camera. My new Sony WX500 vlogging camera that I got off eBay with a good zoom in lens. Yes, good footage for outdoors. Now, I will be doing everybody else's score predictions that they got right against Oxford and Peterborough. Now, with me phone, you let me know what's the best quality. Is it, is it better with this or better with me phone? So there you go, that was my Sony camera, this is on me, me Sony phone, which is the best quality footage, which looks the best, you let me know, I know the Sony's going to be better outside for, you know, decent views and, 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 and zooming in for out and about vlogs, but vlogs in the house like this is it better with a phone or is it better with a Sony camera, now people who got the score predictions correct against Oxford, Michael Fish, Michael Fish, I hope it's going to be sunny soon. You let me know in the comments below. Are we going to have a sunny weekend or is it going to be raining or snowing? I'm sure you've had that for the whole of your life. And if it really gets you upset, I do apologise, do apologise. But Michael Fish, top blow, good score prediction. Been on this channel a long time, you know, so it's a part of the channel a long time. John Cobb, Leon Camshell, Gregory Fenwick, Robert Law, Sonny to the Die and Robert Charlton all got 3 1. If I missed anybody out, do apologise. Peterborough match, slightly a few more got the correct score of ones a peach. Alfie Joe Skelton, Lee Clark, Angelic Skin, Galillion, Nushin, Jammy SFC, Jonathan Clark, Alan Robinson, Ian Wheel, and me C. Kipper. 
and I've probably just murdered Gillian Nushion's name because I'm not very good at reading out people's names because I've got really got a bad eye and my good eye is starting to be turned bad as well. So I've got some glasses in the top of the cupboard there. I should be reading when I read out my own writing. It's poor. So have you got the greatest sports noggin to get the correct score against Charlton Ath? Athletic, yes, Sunderland versus Charlton Athletic. I've got a few videos in the past on with Tyler Rawlinson, the vlogger from Charlton. Big, big, big Charlton fan. I did go down to Charlton last year to meet them outside the ground and some guy came up to us and tried to sell us some drugs of some kind. Or he pulled up in the car, wound the window down, asked his directions and then expected me to throw some money at him or something. I don't know what was going on. I was calm completely buffled and confused and then some of the guy ran over and hide some money in his car and then the guy gave him some shit and then he drove off so yes that, that's some parts of some parts outside the charting grounds a bit dodgy but never mind it's a good old ground yeah it's a good old ground it could, probably could do with updating but we're not down to charm we're at home at the stadium of light and i'm sure there's a lot of shit going on all over the world no matter where you are i'm not just i'm just picking on charting it, it you know, as per se, just my personal experience. And today, when I was running around the woods, I didn't have my phone with it. Typical, I found a fox. There was a fox. A fox ran right in front of the stud there, looking at these birds. And basically, I was literally, you know, I, you know, about 10 yards away from it. I could have picked that up, picked it up and took it home with us. But no, I got a bit closer and it ran away. But that was a canny little fox that was running about. You know, I thought I could have good footage with that. But typical no phone owners at the time. What's this got to do with Charlton? I have no idea whatsoever. Thanks for watching the video. Please take care, everybody. Watch the live stream. Yes, watch me live stream. Subscribe to the channel. And um, what else can I say? Get the score prediction right. And Sunderland are going to get promoted this season. Yes, never mind. Never mind all the bollocks. Touch wood. We're going to get promoted. It's in our own hands. We can do it. I've got the faith. I believe in Lee Johnson. I believe in the team. And hopefully they have self-belief and they can do the job. Hopefully they'll play better on Saturday than they did against Charlton. Last time we played, we couldn't score a goal. Could we? we couldn't score a goal. Probably could have played all day to the, to the, to the cows come home. We wouldn't have scored a goal. I thought I had £10 on there, but it's not. It's just a bit of paper. Right, so take care, everybody. God bless you and everybody all that thing. Right, right, go. Bye, bye. See you later. I seriously don't think there's vodka in here. Right, bye. One last thing, yes. One last thing I haven't gotten rid of is yet. I've got a new channel starting called Mad's World. I've done my first videos coming up after the 12th. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Please subscribe to that channel and get ready to see some out and about stuff, out and about footage, and I will be using my new, my new vlogging camera, hopefully my new vlogging camera, works a treat, because you press that down, and it has a good zoom on, a bit of zoom on, and get footage in the distance, happy days, it's not working work now, right, see you again, take care. <laughs> I can't do it, I can't do it, I am on top of the world looking down on creation and the only explanation I can find is the love that I've found ever since you've been around your love's put me at the top of the world finally 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 god damn it I'm on top of the world look at the absolute beautiful views